Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just want to talk to you guys real quick. This is my auto detailing van behind me right here. So this is my 2017 Nissan NV200 four cylinder automatic five speed. I've converted it into a mobile auto detailing van. And I just kind of wanted to make a little video about auto detailing since it is summer right now. And this is probably one of the busiest seasons, busiest times for auto detailing. So I figured it's a good time to make videos about auto detailing since I like to do that on a few of my cars. But this is the first time I've built a truck. For starters, if you haven't started building your truck yet or if you don't even own a platform or vehicle yet for auto detailing, what you want to start with, number one, is gas mileage. Um, I see a lot of people with Toyota Tundras and F-150s and Silverados doing auto detailing, but I mean if you're doing a lot of car washes, um, the gas mileage that you use combined with the low pay of car washes you make more money doing like paint correction waxing ceramic coating interior detail so you want to get like your gas cost as low as possible in order to maximize your profit on auto detailing more specifically focusing on car washes so you want to make sure you're getting an engine that is very um, economical on gas that's why I went with this because it was a Nissan Sentra motor it's a four-cylinder so uh, that would check off my list for uh, gas mileage but I did the reason why I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this van because I did want to do like a Toyota build like maybe a Tacoma or a 4Runner I feel like I could fit all this stuff in a smaller truck that costs less so that's why I'm thinking about getting rid of this van I'm not sure you might see it in future videos if I do keep it but I will continue to upload more about auto detailing so you want to make sure it has enough space as well gas mileage and reliability I recommend Toyota, Honda, or Nissan for reliability. And then um, easy accessibility for your stuff. You want to be able to access your generator, your pressure washer, your water tank to refill it quite uh, really quickly. You want to be able to refill your supplies very quickly. And then you want to make sure you can store your towels, your soaps, your steam cleaners, your vacuum, stuff like that, brushes. You want to make sure you have leave a little bit of room left over so you can store that so you can carry things with you on the go, extra supplies. You want to also get something that you can advertise on the side of, maybe like windows of a regular vehicle, uh, like this work van, you can put vinyls on the side of it, design your own vinyls, put advertising, your brand, your phone number, stuff like that. So make sure your vehicle is, is appealing you know, to your customers. You kind of want to look professional and you want to show that you care about auto detailing so that way they recommend you to other people and you get more clients or they hit you up for the second wash, you know, you come back. So make sure that your vehicle looks professional. So this video isn't so much about my setup and the supplies that I'm using. The next video after this will be about my setup and my products. This one is simply just about the platform, the vehicle, what I'm using. It's two doors, four cylinder, I'll show you the engine. And then I got two sliding doors right here. So I can easily access my tank from this side right here I'll show you guys my water tank setup in the next video so if you just want to see specifically my setup and this video and go to the next video but for now I'll show you the accessibility here's the gas cap right here um, so I got one door right here then I have a ladder roof rack on the top that way if you're doing SUVs or really raised high trucks you can get to them with your ladder so you must have a ladder in your vehicle and I feel like on top it's the most uh, safe and the best way to save space. So here is what I like to think of rule number one like I was explaining to you guys earlier is your engine size and how many uh, cylinders you have and how economical your motor is on gas. This is a tiny little Sentra motor, Nissan Sentra, it's a four cylinder. I believe it's a 2.0 engine um, by Nissan. And this is very economical, this is over 20 miles per gallon. Instead of spending money on gas, you'll have extra money to spend on supplies or reinvesting into your business. So that's a major rule right here, is have an economical vehicle. There's a lot of cars and trucks that come in four cylinder options, so you can look around for that. But I would recommend a four cylinder if you have to get a V6. That's okay, not terrible, but the smaller the engine, the better. The other side door as well so you can access the expand from both sides on this side I have custom shelving that I bolted in right here this is made specifically for the NV200 this shelf but um, it wasn't made to go here so I had to make custom brackets 
to help keep this shelf stable right here but I feel like it's really accessible to pop my door open and have access to my soaps and towels and everything like that so I would recommend an easily accessible spot to get to your tools like your towels your soaps uh, foam guns cannons spray everything sponges have an easy spot to get to that to save time when you're doing washes so you want to make sure you have somewhere in the rear to shoot your exhaust out from your pressure washer you don't want to have the exhaust from your pressure washer going into your cabin and then your cabin smells like exhaust when you get in your car it's really bad for you also this is where my genera generator was but I sold my generator because I want to get a different one but your generator you want to have your exhaust pointing out as well that way you don't have your exhaust fumes filling up your cabin as well that's really harmful for your lungs so it's better to just shoot your exhaust out so make sure you have when you're buying your pressure washer and your generator that you buy the right one that points out of your vehicle and you could still easily pull it um, so you don't have to climb over stuff just to pull your stuff but I'm also going to show you guys this is a gravity fed system uh, another video will be showing this system specifically how I'm using a gravity fed pressure washer system so check my other videos if you're interested in seeing my pressure washer setup you'll find that in my other videos on my channel so check that out as well I'm gonna be bringing more of this truck to my channel unless I do sell it and change my mind and go for a Toyota I'm not sure yet I haven't made up my mind what I'm gonna do but no matter what I will be uploading more auto detailing videos on my channel subscribe like and comment what you want to see also check out some of my other videos on my channel I do upload different stuff related to automobiles take a look at my channel down there look at all my videos um, drop a comment on some of your favorite videos I appreciate your guys support and if you want to see more of auto detailing specifically anything in general drop a comment down below and I'll see if I can make a video that will help you out in building your own auto detailing business or van whatever you want to call it but um, yeah until then this is my Nissan NV200 Oh,